Hey there pretty people and welcome back to Such Pretty. This is a different sort of video. Um, I have recently made the decision to shave both sides of my head into a sort of mohawk, very long mohawk type of hairstyle, kind of if you follow Kimberly Margarita on Instagram, sort of like hers, although hers is completely shaved in the back as well. I'll have a I'll have a string of hair all the way back, but um, kind of like Kelly Osborne's old hair when she had like a purple mohawk. I'll be keeping my length, and uh, I just wanted to do a quick video about why, because it isn't really a fashion statement type of change, though I am interested in the haircut and I have had a si shaved side before. Um, even the reason that I shaved my side before um, it wasn't really a fashion reason. I just wanted to talk about a, a disorder that I have called trichotillomania in this video. And if you're interested in um, my struggle with that and uh, seeing my shaved, shaved head after it's done, then keep watching. Alright, so first I'm going to talk a little bit about my life with trichotillomania, and then I'm going to show you the state of my hair. Um, right now it looks kind of normal, like it's in a, a normal ponytail. I have a few errant hairs here and there, but in general, head on, I look pretty um, much like my hair is in shape so um, and actually I'm pretty I'm actually kind of well known for my hair being wild and people liking my hairstyles and the way that I do my hair and um, it's it's kind of a conflict for me because so much of my my self worth and my security lies in my hair looking nice and I have been pulling my hair out um, since I was 11 years old. So this, I am now 28 years old and it's something that I've never been able to fully stop. The longest that I've been able to stop is three months. Uh, it goes kind of like waxes and wanes and goes through stages of being really, really bad and being, you know, kind of tall, like manageable where I'm only pulling, you know, five or 10 hairs a day to times when I'm spending hours and hours just sitting and pulling and ripping and pulling and ripping. I don't know what questions people might have about it simply because I haven't really been totally public about it, um, not in, in this form anyway. I have talked about it on my Instagram before, but uh, I don't. I really don't know. If anybody has any questions about it, you are welcome to leave them down below. What I do is I seek and I look for hairs that feel different. So whether they're thicker than other hairs around it, or they have a tiny kink in it, or you know there's a split end or something, so I'm, I search through and I find hairs that feel different. I'm just trying to eliminate anything that feels different in my hair and and I don't know why and I I couldn't tell you you know it isn't something that I'm proud of or that I like doing or that gives me any enjoyment or pleasure other than I just feel like I have to do it and it's so so hard to stop um I also have dermatillomania which is uh skin picking and um I don't have that to this I don't I don't do skin picking to the same degree that I do hair pulling and um, I just think it's really important to, especially as someone who is more known, I mean I'm known for my green green hair, people kind of associate that with me, um, not like I'm the only person with green hair, but I mean uh, people kind of recognize me from my hair and, and I get a lot of compliments, so many compliments on my hair and it makes, it makes me feel so weird and uncomfortable because you guys really aren't seeing what my hair looks like at all. Um, I am able to hide my bald spots because the areas that I pull um, are in this back section. So head on, I norm I generally look like my hair is in you know good shape. So anyway, um, I just think I just wanted to put the message out there that it's really important just not to judge people by appearances. I feel lucky that I actually am interested in having the haircut that I am sort of forcing myself into by pulling, but um, I'm actually kind of excited to do some hairstyles and stuff and I don't know, honestly don't know how how much difference it's gonna look just because the the amount of hair, the, the hair that I'm gonna be shaving off, the amount that actually has any length is really minuscule. So um, let me just go ahead without further ado and just show you guys um, what my the condition of my hair is right now. Um, I'll go ahead and leave it in the ponytail and show you what it looks like on the side here. So this side actually looks pretty normal. I mean, um, I generally have a really easy time concealing this side. However, this side 
is pretty much non-concealable at this point. I have all of this regrowth right here that isn't long enough to go up towards the ponytail anymore. Um, and uh, this side is really just a facade anyway. So I'm just going to start pulling down from the ponytail to show you how much hair is actually there. So, um, as you can see, the actual amount of hair I have here is very, very little. Um, as, I've, as I said before, I've been pulling since I was probably 11 or 12. Um, I shaved this side of my head last year, so, and then I grew it, and then last July I decided to grow it back out. So, um, this was all part of my side shave. This is a scar from when I was a kid. Um, but all of these shorter pieces right here are what my side shave was that I grew out. So all of this used to be what my side shave was. But of all of this, I've pulled all of this out already um, since it's grown back in. I've been wearing hair extensions and I have such little hair to clip on there that it keeps breaking when I do put extensions in and it's just not being very healthy for the tiny hairs that I do have. Um, and I'll still be able to use extensions by braiding them into the mohawk and stuff because I am going to keep all of this length. Like this whole thing is staying, all of it. So um, I'll be able to use extensions to help like braid into the length and hopefully I'll be able to come up with some interesting styles. but. Um, I just wanted to be like upfront and honest with you guys that like I'm making this decision um, half because I have to and half because I'm actually kind of into alternative hairstyles and um, you know I'm almost 30 and I want to try everything that I can in my life. Hopefully I think it's cute. If I don't then I guess I'll grow it out. I am back and the haircut is done and at first I was a little bit worried. I was afraid that I wasn't going to like it very much or that I wouldn't feel very feminine um not that more butch or masculine styles are bad or anything like that i just am very feminine in the way that i like to dress and my makeup and hair and everything so i was kind of worried about looking a bit too masculine but um i'm actually really glad that i did it and um this is the hair cut down as you can see it is pretty much it looks exactly how it looked when my hair was down before but it is completely shaved on both sides, giving me just like a really, really long mohawk. And I am really happy with it. And I especially like the way that makeup looks with it. Um, the way my contour looks with it. I don't know, I just really like that. So. Um, I'm really happy with it, and I'm happy that it, that I think it, I think it looks cute, and, uh, I'm glad that it is functional and helping me stop pull, pulling my hair, as well as, um, stylish. So, again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, any questions about trichotillomania, uh, requests, anything like that, leave them down below, and until next time, I'll see ya.